What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it when lockdown restrictions forced the closure of dining rooms around the country it seemed like a gold rush for big delivery the collection of app-based delivery services like DoorDash, Grubhub, Seamless and others that act as third parties to connect hungry users with restaurants restaurant owners desperate for revenue had no choice but to turn to them. Customers stuck at home went from standing in line to ordering online. The act even took on something like a moral imperative as customers were told delivery could save the industry. In reality, what looked like a delivery boom now seems more like a delivery bust in disguise. DoorDash and Grubhub both owned up to losing $155.9 million and $145 million respectively last year. And it seems very likely things won't get better, short of a total ghost kitchen takeover. Here's why. Growth probably isn't as big as it seems. Last year, the major delivery platforms experienced major growth. Uber Eats reported its restaurant base grew by 75%, while DoorDash increased revenue by 241% during 2020. However, according to a new study published by Daniel Min McCarthy and Elliot Shin Oblander, an assistant professor of marketing at Emory and a PhD student at Columbia Business School, res respectively, the gains the industry experienced last year can be attributed mostly to a substitution away from dine-in behavior. And contrary to what reps from delivery companies have argued about user growth, they're mostly splitting, not increasing. Customers with restaurants, with users signing up for multiple services instead of unique customers. So far, you know, guys, I, I got to say this is uh, definitely a little alarming. According to McCarthy and Oblander, who looked at credit card geolocation and restaurant data collected from Earnest Research, Yipit Data, and SafeGraph, the pandemic created an estimated $19.3 billion in revenue for delivery companies. This accounted for roughly 70% of growth. As the Wall Street Journal noted, while sales did grow by 122% last year, if the pandemic hadn't kept people from dining in restaurants, the number would have been just 38%. Furthermore, McCarthy and Oblander write, the growth in the past year represented a U-turn pre-pandemic, customer acquisition was falling, as was order frequency and growth was stalling. It stands to reason then that as diners are allowed to return to restaurants without restrictions, sales may drop sharply on the delivery platforms. McCarthy and Oblander believe the growth experienced by the platforms in 2020 is not going to last. We just kind of imagine it would be what we just saw last year, but in reverse, McCarthy says. Still, the authors offer to caveat that delivery companies may benefit from some behavioral changes, including an increase in both long-term remote work and consumers who have gotten used to ordering delivery. I think that there's a segment of people who had never tried delivery before that now have been exposed so you kind of pulled forward some of that demand McCarthy says before cautioning that delivery is not going to be viewed as some sort of a patriotic service to the country or something when we return to business as usual regulators are eyeing the services most controversial tactic for years restaurant owners have complained about the apps listing their businesses without consent creating fake websites that appear to be run by the businesses and other practices critics have called predatory Doing something about these practices may feel like a hopeless task, as just for as just four companies, Civil Eats reported last year, control nearly uh, the entire market. There may be some momentum nationwide to tackle these practices, which are now illegal in California as of January, and may soon be illegal in Illinois, where State Senator Melinda Bush introduced the Fair Food Delivery Act. Uh, which would make these practices illegal and fine the companies over a thousand dollars per violation uh, per, per violation per day. It would all it would also allow restaurants to recover damages. The bill passed through the state senate and is a 
is awaiting a vote in the House while similar bills have been introduced in Rhode Island and New York. Listing businesses without consent has been critical to the platform's expansion, and these practices are one way the companies drive up sales. Grubhub alone made 23,000 websites that appeared to be operated by restaurant owners and listed alternative phone numbers that were created by Grubhub. Anytime a call is made to one of those numbers, even if it's just to ask a question about dining service, Grubhub gets a commission. Now, I'm not sure if a lot of you guys knew about this or not, um, but this is a really major issue. I don't, I, I don't know if you guys remember a lot of these problems, but let's face it, you know, the gig economy has been bittersweet. I think we can all uh, agree with that, okay? It's been bittersweet, mainly for the fact that you guys know you can make your own hours, you know, you can kind of, you know, work at your, your leisure. You get to call the shots on which orders you accept and all that stuff. But, you know, on the downside, look how much money these companies are losing. Anybody who tells you these companies are doing great, they don't really know the full story. Okay. Um, it's just, it's very sad. It's very disheartening just to see, you know, where things started so many years ago and now where it has ended up. It's, it's tough, man. It's definitely a very tough situation to, uh, to watch unfold. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas App. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L-I-K-E-D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.